Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. At the moment I've been doing some videos testing IR signatures of aircraft. How does the throttle of your aircraft adjust its IR signature? How do certain types of flares work? How do engines modifications on the helicopters change the IR signature? And this is the next one. It's a question that you guys asked and that is obviously flares as in countermeasure flares work by creating a very hot point in space which will fall or try to fall an IR seeker headed missile. But, but do other hot things like signal flares work as countermeasures? Do the illumination bombs work like countermeasures? Do illumination rockets work like countermeasures? Obviously signal flares and these rockets and bombs aren't designed as countermeasures, but can they be used? So, uh, first of all, I thought that's a stupid thing to say, you know, you're never going to do it. But in retrospect, it does actually have a little bit of, of credit because in DCS, you can have anything fighting against anything. You can have an F-15 fighting against a BF-109. So these things actually do have a use. So the 109 has no types of countermeasures. Will the signal flare gun attract the IR seeker head. The L-39 has no type of countermeasures, it's a training and light attack aircraft, but it does have illumination bombs. Will they generate heat? Is the DCS modelled it to generate enough heat to seek an IR seeker head? It's actually quite fascinating to see what it's going to give us. C-101 has no type of countermeasures. Training and light attack, we've got some illumination rockets. Will that attract a seeker head? Okay, so let's jump in and see what we get. Okay, BF-109 first, it's just easiest, it's all ready to go. Okay, see if we can remember how to fly this. Uh, right, so the guy's going to be just ahead of us. So what we're going to do is we're going to, as soon as we see the missile come out at us, we're going to throttle down um, and uh, fire out the illumination flare and see if it works. Interestingly, we're still not sure if throttling down actually reduces the IR signature. I've done a full 20 minute test video of it. And it seems to depend not on the aircraft, but on the missile that is tracking you, whether it detects, uh, whether, or should I say, whether IR signature is affected by your throttle position. So it's a really weird one, that. Needs a bit more investigation. Right, anyway, concentrate on the task at hand. So let's get our power up, and make sure we can get his attention. Missile out, fire the flare off. Whoa, uh, I went for the sun, look at that, it went for the sun. <laughs> Yeah, just got blinded by the sun. Um, right, we're going to have to change the angle. Take two, we're no longer coming from the sun. Off we go again. That's the flare gun, by the way. We do get multiple shots with it, I think four or five. I think. Right, let's see if we can get our guy's attention. I'm over here. Hey, buddy, I'm over here. Look. I'm trying to shoot him by accident. Man, this plane's cool. Throttle down, clear out. No, oh, it didn't work. Then, oh, or oh, did it? Well, I'm still alive. Let's see if he fires again. Ah, oh, sugar. I oh, just missed it. Uh, retest needed. Sell out. Mm. No. Interestingly, it's not actually damaging me. I think probably BF-109s are just not set up to be damaged by uh, missiles, so it's, my plane's not getting damaged, but at the same time, the flare clearly isn't attracting the missile in any way. So I've heard some rumours that that, missile, that flares, these flares can attract the missiles, but you know what, one more go, and that's it. No, damage model doesn't work and the flares don't attract the thing. Uh, that's the end of that. Let's next go with what is L39. Oh, I've got to remember how to fly it now. So, master arm on, both bombs. I think that's it. Maybe even drop in advance. I'm not really sure. Try dropping now. Sweet. Yeah, there they go. Haha, <laughs> I didn't do what I wanted. Interestingly, it didn't do any damage. Oh, yes, it did. <laughs> right, um, that's almost impossible to use because the time delay between dropping and the flares coming out. I don't have a obvious solution for that. I'll just try dropping them a bit later, I suppose. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to drop... Surprisingly hard to drop them. 
No. Uh, that's kind of difficult. Also, the trigger pull isn't working very well. I have to press the trigger twice for some reason. What you could try is uh, saturating an area with these flares and then driving another plane through them. That might work, but it'd be so hard to do, it'd be pretty much impossible. Oh, that's the best I can do. <laughs> oh, not much really I can do. Um, so f bombs just have no use. Like I said, maybe you could saturate an area with them and then have another aeroplane fly through it. And now we've got flare rockets, which I don't suppose for one second are going to work because they fire, travel a certain distance and then start flaring, I think. But sod it, we'll try it. Oh, I love this plane. I wish I had more of a chance. It's just useless. It's too slow to use in missions, so I can't use it. But it is brilliant. It really is a good plane. I can't stress how good this is. Um, come on, Cap. Master arm. What is it? What is it? Uh, right. I think that's it. Uh, Lumos from rockets. Don't know how to get the sight on. Can't remember. Pew. I'm just going to kind of... I don't even know what I'm doing really, I'm just doing something. What happened? They're not illuminating much, are they? You might even say they just don't work. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, mm. nothing seems to have a damage model today. Nothing seems to hurt me. Whatever I do, I can't get hurt. I haven't got invulnerable on, I've checked. Uh, no, they obviously, well, they don't even appear to be working anyway, but even if they were working, it doesn't appear that they'll actually stop a man pad missile anyway, so. That was a bit disappointing, uh, but like Mythbusters, you do want to kind of repeat uh, the, 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 the myth that this can work. So what else can we try? Okay, we've got an A-10 here with all the illumination bombs. Maybe you just need to do all of the illumination bombs. Mm, that's all we can carry, I think. Let's try that, shall we? What can go wrong? I know this thing has flares, but I've got to prove it works now. Okay, uh, don't know, let's see what happens I suppose. Are these rockets or bombs? I don't know. Get some. Come on, look at me. I'll just start dropping them now. Oh, look at those beauties. Fire, you retard, fire. Billy, Billy, not gonna fire. Oh, it might have worked. That might have worked. Retry! These ones um, fuse pretty much as soon as you drop them, so... Yeah, and I don't know how many of them are in there. One more try. Schießen! Schießen sie! No, you know what? Oh, finally I died. Um, it just doesn't work. Uh, it's just a load of bollocks. The flares don't work. The illumination bombs don't work. I couldn't put many. I couldn't do any more in a smaller area there. And illumination flares don't. Well, they literally don't even work by the looks of the things. Or I'm using them wrong. I'm probably just using them wrong. They're probably hitting the ground before they fuse. But what I'm saying is, none of them work in terms of guiding missiles. Uh, we're attracting IR seeker heads. Is that realistic? Don't know. Absolutely no idea. You guys let me know what you think, but it's certainly not in DCS. Hope I answered the question and see you later.